I was just talking to somebody and that somebody told me on how he was rejected by a Christian lady. And the same Christian lady who is looking for a kingdom marriage but not finding one. And it was so funny to me on why, like the questions that we asked ourselves was like, what could be the reason she's saying no? It's not valid. Hallelujah. And then I got to realize something that I've been speaking about. And this is one of those videos that you can hardly hear about. People don't usually share about these things. Hallelujah. And by the way, you watch me for the first time. I am Ishmael N. And welcome to today's video. And listen, most of these delays when it comes to kingdom marriages is not necessarily because people are not finding the right one. But I believe there is a clash between your flesh and the spirit. In which when the people or Christian ladies, for example, is mainly because I realize the women are the most pickiest when it comes to choosing whom to marry or whom to be with, even when it comes to just dating alone. Because what's funny is this, uh, this person was telling me about the lady that she approached and he told her how he feels. And she said, no, she wants him as a friend. But this very same lady is always complaining she's not finding the one. And this is, I believe, is going to be an eye-opener to many people. So you see, what's the major challenge to us as Christians? It's not necessary because God has never uh, presented with an opportunity to be with a fellow Christian, fellow devoted Christian person, but it's because already, ideally, we know we have already created in our own minds the kind of person we want to be involved with, we want to get married to. And little do we realize that some of the features that we have described are fleshly, are worldly. And we trap ourselves to a corner where until God gives us exactly that, we can never be in love. We can never get married. And those features that we have described, some of them, they are almost perfection. And as you know well, there is no perfect person in this world. And some of those features, the moment we, we, we find somebody whom we have described before God, we find that eventually we pay for it because we find that that person, maybe they have all these physical features, but even materialistic. But when it comes to their spirit, they are poor. They are not even Christians or they are just those Christians who are pretending. Because we sat down, we were looking at the, what could be the reason she's saying no. Then I looked at this person, I was like, you know what? Don't be deceived. Even Christian women or even Christian people, even men, you know, it's just that I'm a man. I cannot really describe exactly what makes uh, Christian men not to fall in love and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm just giving an example. This also applies to Christian men. Okay. I'm not bashing on Christian women. or Don't get it wrong. But one thing for sure, I was like, you know what? Don't be deceived. Me personally, I've seen how women can be attracted to a man mainly and they won't make it clear but remember when women see your financial stability when they're sure that you are financially stable they go before you when they see you have a car those things that worldly women are into women in general they're like that remember you're dealing with women they are also human beings that's what i said to him you see that's what i said to him just like men when they get attracted to women we get attracted with them she must be most of the time, beauty, someone, someone does play a role. But it's just up to you to decide that, you know what? I don't care about so much about beauty, but I also want the character. If the character can be over the top, then everything else better be a bonus. So I said to him, I was like, you see, in your case, I tell you the truth. If you had those, uh, maybe you were financially visible in your eyes that you are financially stable. Because I remember she even asked him, well, where is your car? And that car was from work, you know? So I was like, if you had a nice car and your finances were like promising in your eyes, I tell you, the chance of her saying no to you would have been so slim. So sometimes we get caught up that we look at people in the church and we feel like just because they are also from church, obviously they don't care about anything else. And listen, those are the things that they won't tell you, but they are concerned. They care. Why aren't you surprised that you find that Christian men, pastors in the church, are still having affairs outside, committing adultery? Outside, you know, they're sleeping with someone who's not even their wife. What is the thing? What's the cause? 
is because they're still desiring something that those worldly people have, which is wrong. They are still attracted to those worldly features that they pretend when they're in the pulpit or in the church, they, which they pretend they don't care about. So here's a wait for somebody today. Look at yourself. Why are you still single? Is it because you are not finding the one? Is it because um, what you're looking for is not there? What is it that you're really looking for? Be honest with yourself. You're looking for a man with money. You're looking for a man who drives a nice castle that you can... You're looking for a man who looks like an, uh, those Hollywood stars, well-built and all those things. You're looking for a very pretty woman who is also very prayerful. Those are the things you can sit down and be honest with yourself. Those are the things. I personally been in a position where I look at someone, I'm like, yeah, she has everything that I want. But if I that maybe I'm just concerned by just a little thing. I'm like, yo, but she seems, maybe the looks are not exactly what I, I wanted. But if I that she has everything I've described. And I realized that one, that one thing alone can be the reason why I feel like, nah, nah, no, let me not go for her. No, let me wait for the one. But to be honest, you, you get to realize that, you know what? You just were just being picky. There was nothing wrong with that person. You just never gave yourself time to sit down and ask God and say, and also cancel yourself enough. Don't always wait for people to encourage you, to cancel you. But you yourself, you must be able to sit down and cancel yourself enough and see that what you are seeing is exactly what you want. All you need is to get, just give it a chance. Give it a shot. I remember that person who, when he, uh, he would tell me, that they, these very same ladies are the same ones who say will describe that they want someone who has this, someone who has this, who owns this property, and blah 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 blah. So you see already, they are setting themselves for disappointment. Hallelujah! How many people own such a property? If majority of people around you are that beautiful, if majority of people around you are that rich if majority of people around you like have those own those things only a minority then yes it's easy for you to describe such a person but you can't describe to god some an individual whom you find that there's only a two percent of those people around and for that maybe two of those, those two percent population they're all married so what do you are you saying to yourself obviously you won't get married anytime soon and that person maybe who's still an upcoming owns those things you find that they themselves as well someone else quickly snatches them and gets married to them so, so you see what i'm trying to say is some delays are because of what we also created in our minds not because god is on is not answering no and i think now as i conclude this video it's all a program that how we've been programmed we've been programmed that describe exactly what you want and some of our descriptions are ridiculous. They are not unrealistic. You know? You yourself, you find that an unperfect person wants a perfect person. You see how crazy that is? I was watching this program as well when I was like, I saw this lady who just, you can just tell she does not take care of herself. She's the total opposite of what a man could describe from a woman. But she's busy describing that a man, he must be driving a convertible car. He must be rich. He must, you get what I'm saying? But she herself, nothing. She just dresses just plainly. So with such a lady, I'm like, okay, even if I wanted her, like, honestly, would I want a woman who looks like how she is? Not because she's physically natural like that. No, she's neglecting herself. She can't dress well if she wants to. She's not putting any effort on herself as well. But she wants someone who's putting effort, hard work, hard working and stuff. So you see, this is what is attacking Christians as well. We want fleshly things, but and but we're still praying to God. Please bring someone godly. But the features that we want are more fleshly than spiritual. I hope this message was clear. Let me wrap it here before I ruin it, okay? We must get rid of the programming that we've had from the beginning. Because we've already told, describe exactly. Now we are describing even things which are unrealistic. Let's get rid of that mentality. 
And of course, that's all I had for you in today's video. Bye.